G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of The Smoking Beat. Today I'm going to be smoking up some hot and fast chicken drumsticks on the Char Grill Acorn. Some of you might remember last time I done chicken drumsticks hot and fast on the open coals in the bottom of uh, my spit rotisserie. This time we're going to go use the acorn, hopefully we get a little bit more better heat control um, and smoke penetration as well, being enclosed as opposed, as opposed to having it open. So without further ado, let's go get these drumsticks prepped up. Okay, so we've got our chicken drumsticks here, and what we're gonna do, if you remember from last time, is make an incision along the bone. Now, we're not fully butterflying these, we're just, just enough to open them up and uh, to get a little bit of rub in there as well throughout the cook. Now this is not an essential step, but I've found that this is now my favorite way to have chicken drumsticks. So, just gonna make a cut along there to the bone. I'm just gonna fly that open. It's not a full butterfly. That's all we're looking to do here is just a so basically just so they're sitting flat like that you could nearly call it a butterfly i don't but regardless butterfly or not um it's really a great way to get more rub into the meat and make it more flavorsome so what you i'll show you again as again find uh where the thickest part of the meat is between the bone and uh the skin so this one would be here just take your sharp knife and make a cut along to the bone and that should and then just pull it open give it a press down if you have to and uh, easy as easy as that uh, not only does it help you help the meat uh, get more seasoning into it once they're charred up and ready to eat you know these bits hang off very nicely just real good bite-sized bits um, so if you don't need if you don't want to do that not an essential step but if you're going to do that go ahead and do that um, we'll get them all butterflied up if you will and we'll come back for the seasoning okay next step once you've got all your drumsticks um, butterflied up like that go ahead and transfer them all to a bowl and this is where we're gonna just give them a nice little rub down uh, with a bit of drizzle just a little bit of olive oil there and this is just a, a little binder for our seasoning. So give them a nice coat. It's looking pretty good. Make sure you get the insides there where you made the incisions as well. And uh, now you're ready to add your seasoning. Okay, so we've divided our drumsticks into two bowls because they were using two different seasonings. The first batch is going to be a touch of cherry from the Three Little Pigs. Great rub, very highly recommended. And the second one is Foul Play Premium Spicy Wing Dust from Gold Gourmet Foods. Now, I've used a couple of these. I've used this once on a rotisserie chicken, but it was cooking for family, so I actually never got to try it. So very eager to try this. Um, they do a great range of um, other rubs as well, um, including a sour apple pork dust, a charcoal premium beef, and an all-rounder. Um, it's basically an all-purpose barbecue rub. And I, and I believe they do um, a vegetable rub too, like for veggies and stuff. So check them out, guys. I got it at my local IGA. But without further ado, let's get these seasoned up. So... Uh, we've got eight chicken wings here, so we've just divided them. So what we're going to do, we're going to do our foul play first. And that's not coming out that well, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. A little bit in the hand. Get them seasoned up. Just enough in the bottom of the bowl. Massage that in. You 
You want to get your rub into that where you've made them cuts all along the bone there, all into the meat. The skin's not a huge deal because it's going to char up. But we still want to get a nice covering regardless. Okay, one batch done. And second batch, the touch of cherry. I love the smell of that stuff. Just gonna do it on the board, it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit messier. Don't be afraid to be generous with this stuff either. We want full flavour. Plus, the more rub you use, it's going to char up a little bit nicer as well. those incisions okay they're seasoned up so our drumsticks are ready to go um, we're going to let them sit in the fridge uncovered for an hour an hour and a half just to let them sweat a little bit let that um, seasoning work into the meat and then we're going to go outside and fire up the acorn we're going to chuck them on the grill okay so our drumsticks have been sweating away in the fridge for about two hours now um, we're ready to put these on the acorn. The acorn is sitting hot and ready at around 450 degrees Fahrenheit. That's plenty enough with the cast iron grates to uh, get these hot and fast. So we're going to go ahead and chuck them on now. Place them around. These ones are our spicy ones. And now we've got the ones rubbed with cherry. So, don't forget to give these a turn every uh, five to 10 minutes. You don't want them to get burnt with the high heat because we are direct grilling. Um, we do. We uh, we are going for a charred grill, but we want it evenly across the drumstick, not just on one side. So, every five to ten minutes, we're going to put them to bed for five minutes, and uh, we'll come back and check them. So about uh, 15, 20 minutes, they're about into the cook. Um, I've already flipped them once. Uh, they're coming along very nicely. I'm going to flip them again, just to distribute, you know, even char throughout the uh, drumstick. Some of these are starting to char up nicely already. Um, and no, I haven't got them evenly spread out on the grill. My OCD is not that anal. So they're chugging along just nicely. I've got uh, two cherry wood chunks in there, adding a bit of smoke flavour. Uh, I'm going to come back, flip them again another 10 minutes. And we're aiming for 165 degrees Fahrenheit internally. So we're going to probe them up when I think they're close. Or thereabouts and uh, we'll take them off and uh, give them a taste test all right so we're going to check on these uh, drumsticks now guys we're just going to use our instant probe here to get a reading into the heart 160 oh 170 so they're well and truly done so we're going to grab them off and we're going to go and serve them and uh, give them a garnish and bon apple tea Okay guys, so there's our finished product. Beautiful char grilled hot and fast chicken drumsticks. This is not necessarily what you need to do, but because we're so good about presentation here, why not? So a little bit of spring onion over the top. When you serve it to your guests, they probably don't give a shit, but anyway, there we have it. Beautiful drumsticks, hot and fast, over the coals, 
cherry wood flavor easy as guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a like give it a share even give me a follow everything's appreciated until next time guys keep that smoke rolling and stay safe